Hey guys, this is Donnie with databases.biz. Right here I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Microsoft Access. What you see here is an Excel file. Um, Excel is great. We can do pivot tables and various reports and charts with Excel, but it's more of a flat file, so we can't really grow it. We can't multiple users in here at the same time updating it. Um, we have to repeat data and things like that. So like, for instance, you see here, employee ID, last name, you see I got this same information for this one person repeating and in Microsoft Access I only have to put this in once and then we can associate all these records for this person all their sales and things, their work orders that they've worked on with that one person. So what we want to do is use Microsoft Access because it's a relational database which means it can relate these work orders to this one person, that one record, versus having to repeat the information like you do in Excel. A good example, um, I have an old database that I made a long time ago, um, just to show you some of the stuff that you can do in Microsoft Access. So here you have the main menu, so you got your own graphical user interface for your employees. I go into personnel here, and then I have lots of information. Um, this is a military HR database because I'm retired Army something I created then and so you can see you can tab to the different fields you have drop down menus you can see you got multiple columns here for the different fields you want to put select um, got groupings of different information here with tabs and everything I can I can print a current record a report just with the click of a button on this one person so I can get a summary view of that or I can click all the records in the entire database um, you see that here, page one of 101 records, and I can just go through them. Another thing that's pretty cool is you can, you have these ribbons up here. Um, so the home page has some of your quick access um, menus. Like here you got design view, form view. So I can go in the design view of the form, go back into uh, form view. We have create where you can, you can use wizards even here, query wizards, and they'll walk you through step by step. Same thing with the form and the report wizards. You can bring in external data. You can import external data into the database. Um, you have some database tools here. You can go into Visual Basic by clicking on the Visual Basic button. Um, so you can see some of the code. Here you go. Here's some, some code. And you can, you can run a debugger and compile the database. Some other things. Uh, you got a help menu right here. And then you can also create your own custom um, ribbons. So these are ribbons that I created a long time ago. You can see, like for instance, I can click on this to update drop-down menus. So then I have all the drop-down menus in one place. So I can just update the different drop-down menus. So that's kind of cool. Um, help. I created a help ribbon. So you see, you got two help, but this one I, is the one I created. I can pull up like a support form, like just like regular software. Of course, this data is all old. I'm not even on this website anymore. Um, so, so lots of cool stuff you can do with Microsoft Access. And then over here you see you've got, got your tables, um, queries, you know, forms, further down, reports. Something I do is I use a naming convention. So I'll put a T before the name of the actual um, table or query. I'll put a Q for queries. And then I'll put down here F for forms. Uh, SBF for subforms, R for reports. And you see some other things in here. These are just imported different naming conventions that were used. I can type up here in the search bar MOSI, and then you can see I have T here, Q here, and R here for all the different. So that's just a prefix I'll put. And the reason I do that is I may be working with. See here, this is MOSI, MOSI grades, and then down here, same thing. But I know that this is a query because there's a queue in front of it and this is the table. So I may do different things with the query if I right click and go to design view. You know, you can see I got everything in here. And I may do something special with this query. So I may add a, a function or a sum or something in here that I can't, that I won't necessarily do with the table. So I would create the query and use that to save us. So our goal, this isn't what we're going to create. We're going to create a simple beginner's lesson or MS Access database using this Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to create two tables um, in the next lesson. We're going to create two tables. We're going to create the 
the technician table, which will consist of the employee ID, name, last name, first name, and the hire date. Then we're going to create a work order table. Um, so whenever we open up the record for the technicians, then we can say, hey, we're going to assign this work order to John Burton. And then we'll be able to go through and just assign work orders to them and it'll automatically associate this work order with John Burton. So all the work orders will be in there. I will put in the description download so you can download this file and follow along. I will also put in the description um, a link to databases.biz. If you want, you can actually I install the learning management system on databases.biz. So if you log in over there, you can actually track your progress so you can save where you left off and things like that and come back whenever you want to. It might make it a little bit easier to, for you. Also, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You know, I volunteer to do this for free. Um, it just helps gain popularity and, and grow this channel in the community. And I plan on, besides, once we get done with learning MS Access, I also plan on going and teaching you uh, more advanced stuff, such as Visual Basic for Applications, how I created those ribbons that you saw on, on this database using XML, um, which is just a quick look at it. You, know, you can go here and you show the hidden objects, and then we use XML to create the ribbon. So, let's see, right here, use this ribbons, and this is XML that we use to actually create the ribbons up here top. So, I'll show you how to do things like that to help you out and everything to help you uh, further progress your knowledge of Microsoft Access. All right. Um, again, like and subscribe. Really appreciate you visiting and I'll see you soon.